Hi, my name is Saad Ibrahim uh, with Petro Management Group. I am the instructor for the class Fundamentals of Reservoir Engineering. Uh, this class is a very comprehensive class to cover uh, the subject of reservoir engineering. Uh, since it's titled Fundamental of Reservoir Engineering, uh, it will cover all the fundamentals. So uh, if you have no knowledge of reservoir engineering, you can start from this point on. So this class is good for junior intermediate engineers. And also for senior engineers, it will be a good review of the subject. And of course, we cover some advanced topic as well uh, with regard to unconventional and maybe horizontal well with multi-stage frac. Uh, this class is essential for any petroleum engineer because it covers one of the most important subjects uh, of reservoir engineering or the subsurface engineering. Uh, the class uh, starts with uh, the fundamentals. So we cover all the basic fundamentals and then we build on it. We start with petroleum geology so we know more about the geology, what kind of rocks we deal with, the uh, elements to have a successful reservoir like reservoir traps, the source rock, all the geological elements uh, to form a successful or a commercial reservoir. Uh, we move into the rock and fluid property, so we discuss uh, some of the reservoir parameters such as porosity, permeability, how it's measured, and uh, what sort of information we can build on that. Uh, we talked about some of the other rock properties like rock wettability, uh, relative permeability, capillary pressure, and then we move into the fluids, so we discuss how we can sample oil and gas wells and what sort of chemical analysis uh, is conducted on the fluids and the benefits that we get from good uh, chemical analysis by knowing the bubble point pressure for oil, the dew point uh, pressure for gas condensate, and how to, based on that, optimize the production from these fields. Uh, the next section will deal with reservoir drives and reserves. Uh, some fields perform much better than others because you have more reservoir drives. Uh, reservoir drives are the natural energy that Mother Nature introduced in our fields, oil and gas fields. So we discuss each one of those and the impact on the performance and recovery from these fields. Reserves, one of the most important topic for reservoir engineers. We spend a significant amount of time every year to determine reserves for our oil companies. So we talked about the main uh, classification of reserves set by the Petroleum Society and the financial institutes. We talk about the industry standard techniques to estimate reserves using deterministic, probabilistic, and statistical tools. We show lots of case studies throughout the class. Uh, and then we move into well productivity, how we can optimize production from oil and gas wells. We start with setting the expected productivity from a well, and then uh, if the well is not performing as expected, we talked about uh, well stimulation, whether it's acidizing or fracking to increase well productivity. Uh, tools to estimate well productivity, we talk about the Darcy equation and inflow performance uh, relationship. The next section is on well testing, which is one of the most important reservoir management tools. We go through uh, the theoretical part, uh, which is uh, flow geometries, boundary conditions, and then we talk about the common techniques to analyze uh, some of the most popular tests, like flow and build-up tests, drawdown testing uh, for gas wells. We talk, we talk about the modified azicronal testing. Uh, we move into water cooling, water influx, uh, how we can estimate the critical rate, time to break through from cooling, how we can uh, limit the production from our well so we don't see water cooling problems. We move on into uh, the section of secondary and tertiary recovery, but the focus will be in this class on uh, mostly water flooding. So we go through the process of um, designing the water flood project from the inject injection requirement to how we inject water in, a, in, the well, in the field, whether it's a five spot or any type of pattern versus peripheral injection how we can predict 
the expected incremental oil from water flood projects using Dikesra and Parson, and we're going to flash some of the numerical uh, techniques as well. And finally, we talk about the performance monitoring of the water flood to ensure we're going to achieve that recovery factor from uh, pressure surveys, voidage replacement ratio, uh, monitoring the water quality, the filter size, uh, well testing, HAL plot, all of these techniques are utilized to monitor the performance of the water flood. The next section is on the unconventional. So we explain the difference between conventional and unconventional. And uh, we review some of the activities in our Worcester Basin uh, with respect to the unconventional, including the Horn River, uh, the Duvernay, the Bakken, uh, uh, many of these formations. We talk about how we can uh, evaluate the performance of the unconventional using uh, new decline curve analysis tools and uh, other techniques that uh, were not available in the past uh, when we only had conventional reservoirs. The last section in this class will cover horizontal wells and there will be a significant amount of material on multi-stage fracking, how we can optimize uh, the frack design of multi-stage frack in terms of the number of frack stages, the spacing between stages, the frack size, how we can uh, decide whether we go for open hole or case hole completion, how to take advantage of the sweet spots along the horizontal well and come up with uh, a production uh, performance, and of course, uh, we're going to show numerous uh, case studies uh, on this subject. So that's all the section that we're going to talk about in Fundamental Reservoir Engineering. If you need more information, uh, we'll be glad to help you out. Just contact us. Thank you again.